It was raining again, a steady, gentle rain that had been coming down for some time. I had discovered a paved road that led away from the burned houses. I had walked on it for some time before I remembered the word road, and that led to my remembering cars and trucks, although I hadn't yet seen either. The road I was on led to a metal gate, which I climbed over, then to another, slightly wider road, and I had to choose a direction. I chose the downslope direction and walked along for a while in contentment until I came to a third, still wider road. Again, I chose to go downhill. It was easier to walk along the road than to pick my way through the rocks, trees, underbrush, and creeks, although the pavement was hard against my bare feet. A blue car came along the road behind me, and I walked well to one side so that I could look at it, and it would pass me without hitting me. It couldn't have been the first car I had ever seen. I knew that because I recognized it as a car and found nothing surprising about it, but it was the first car I could remember seeing. I was surprised when the car stopped alongside me. The person inside was, at first, just a face, shoulders, a pair of hands. Then I understood that I was seeing a young man, pale-skinned, brown-haired, broad and tall. His hair brushed against the top of the inside of his car. His shoulders were so broad that even alone in the car he looked crowded. His car seemed to fit him almost as badly as my clothing fitted me. He lowered his window, looked out at me and asked, Are you all right?